Vivi, you have awakened as a champion, and I believe you have washed your hands of the Federation. However, there are many in Figaro who view an army of black mages, and one that served Bahamut, with considerable suspicion. Can you offer us your allegiance all the same? Edgar, sir. I know it's just words, but I've heard enough about what the Federation's done to understand that it's not right. Maybe I can help you somehow, or maybe I can't. All I can tell you is that I'm willing to try. I'm going to prove myself to you and to your people. Eloquently stated. Yes, they'll warm to you soon. King Edgar, why? You've ordered the Black Mages on yet another mission? Yes. With them out in the field, your men can stay here and get some much-needed rest. Think happy thoughts. You're refusing to see the problem at all! I tell you, sire, you are far too trusting of them. Those things started out as mirages. And for all we know, they're still spying on us. I'll just have to keep an eye on them for the both of us. I beg of you, do not allow their cunning to win you over. Stay vigilant, sire. Really now, spying on us. Well, Vivi should be able to weather it. Oh, it's the captain. Hello, sir. Are you on patrol? You work so hard. Huh? You're that... Listen here. I have a few words for you and... Oh, yeah. Outside I found this beautiful flower. You can have it if you like. Hmm? Uh, oh. It's so strange. I thought Figaro was nothing but desert. But that isn't true at all now, is it? And we wouldn't have such pretty flowers if the kingdom's finest weren't out there bravely defending the castle. Ah! Oops, I'm gonna be late for training. Pardon the intrusion, sir. Uh, uh, it is a lovely flower. That Vivi, you just can't help but like the kid, you know? Thanks to the Black Mages, Figaro's defenses are stronger than ever. We're lucky to have him around. <sighs> I'm not unreasonable, and I never told anyone the Black Mages aren't capable. I just... I just want everyone to play things on the safe side. Oh! Captain, sir, I already cleaned up around there a while ago. But if it still needs work, I'll be happy to give it another go. What? Uh, oh, is that so? Fine work, I'm sure. You just run along now. Go on, uh, get some rest. Okay. Hello there, Captain, sir. Oh, no. Your uniform got torn. Want me to stitch it up for you later? What? Oh, uh... Thank you. Wow, sir. Look at your hands. They're so huge. Hey, Captain! 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 Hey, Captain!
If anything were to happen to the Black Mages, it would be a devastating loss for the Kingdom of Figaro. My men will join them, sire. Just watch. We will keep them safe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get ready. What in the world is going on? Edgar, the Black Mages are ready to leave at any time. Hmm. You want a sly one, Vivi. Huh? Oh, never mind. Listen up. Today, the Castle Guard will be deploying with you. Don't let them down. I knew that I was right to place my trust in them. The Black Mages and Figaro are going to be fast friends. Still, how did Vivi win the captain over? Um, so no fight? <laughs> That's the, okay, just a plot. Inter I'm taking How is that intervening in anything? Whose soul will you touch? I mean, I was under the impression that I was gonna have to do a thing, uh, but oh, okay, all right. You know, I enjoy having a little bit of backstory with BV. Uh, it's very adorable. It's adorable Goodbye. if you ask my opinion, but you didn't, so I, I don't really know what else to say other than uh, I, I like BV. I thought it was a little heartwarming. Little heartwarming. That said, uh, I guess there's not really a whole lot to do, so I'm, I'm gonna just go back and onward to the regular mission at hand for more plot, but related to the actual story and outcome of everything. So uh, let's get some traveling going. Let's go to, I think... I don't think I want any of that, so I'm, I'm gonna just go to Figaro Castle. It's the one with the exclamation mark, so I might as well do that. Or something along those lines. I could be completely wrong. But probably not. So all that said, I, I guess I'm just gonna head on through to, uh, what is it? The land of, of night or something like that. I think that's what they're getting at. No, we're going to Big Bridge, so that's right, so we can get to that land of night or something along those lines. So let's do it. Let's go to Big Bridge, everybody. Oh man. I, I know things are things are moving up, things are getting excited. Uh I think there was a town over here or something. Finally, a town. We can't go in. What? Why not? It's another Federation town. We better steer clear. We don't want to run into those creeps. Wait a second, how do they know? Like, do they have the monocles? Should I put on the monocles? I can't even use it. Oh, okay, I guess it's all pointless. Fine, I'm going to Big Bridge. Screw y'all. All that said, I guess it's time to head on through. Do my thing. Everything that you kind of expect to happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, probably not, but that, that's alright. I'm not really expecting too much. Big bridge, everybody. Big bridge. Uh, th that is definitely a big bridge. Whoa! That thing over there has got to be it. No, that is one big the bridge. Well, you sure can't say it doesn't live up to the name. Totally. I I'm thinking there's going to be a cutscene. Getting to the top is not gonna be fun. All the same. Still, you have to admire it. Who could have built something like this? Nobody ever built it. A giant summoned it here in ages past. The name is Aiko. My job is to look after the bridge. You've come here to cross it, right? Yeah. So. You were saying that Big Bridge isn't man-made, that someone summoned it here, but like... First, the bridge has a real name. It's Alexander, in fact. What? The Great Mirage. Big Bridge Alexander. Oh, it's... it's the true! How did I miss it? I can sense the bridge is the presence. Dude, this thing is alive? 
Holy schlep! And that's why a summoner like me has to look after him. Oh, wow! So you're a summoner then? Yeah, but it's not like I'm the one that summoned him. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? Are you them? The one and only giants from the hills? You bet! Yeah, that's the word. So, I guess that means it's true. Hmm? Wait a second. If the prophecy is right... You better not even think about it! Don't you dare lead us down the wrong path! Huh? Nobody remembers because they're so caught up in the Crimson Prophecy. The Azure Prophecy, it very clearly says, you could bring us salvation or ruin the Divergent Futures. Oh, that's right. Princess Sarah did tell us about the Divergence. Wait, the what? You're the mean you forgot! I'm starting to worry. Maybe I shouldn't let you use the bridge. Oh no! We're cool! Me and Rain are totally going to wreak the right future. Sure are. Huh? <sighs> well, it's not like I can stop you. The prophecy's about you, not me, right? Go on, you can cross. But don't go causing the apocalypse. Duly noted. So is there some special the trick to getting to the tippity top of Alexander? Just get on. I'll handle the wake-up call. The what? Alexander's kind of a sound sleeper. So it's my job to step in and sort of get things going. Now, off you go! Well, I, I, I guess I have to do the thing. Man, we got Final Fantasy V music, but the setup is very akin to Final Fantasy IX. Uh, at least the layout and architecture of, of everything kind of has a Final Fantasy IX vibe, especially Echo. Uh, but that said, I think I'm going to end it off here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the part. Uh, next time, we're going to be traveling up Big Bridge, which uh, Alexander wasn't actually a bridge. He's more depicted as a castle in the, in the installments and everything that I'm aware of. So, yeah, anyways... Uh, it might be a little bit of a clusterfuck, but hey, that's nothing new for the game.